All right, for this section of the home safety awareness video, we're gonna be talking about one of our favorite things to do this time of year, and that's outdoor grilling. Uh, we've got our setup here with a green egg, but uh, obviously there's a ton of different options out there as far as what you have. Uh, but we wanna go through just a few tips today uh, that can make your setup a little more safe. Uh, let's be aware of our surroundings, what we're doing. Uh, a lot of these things are common sense, uh, but common sense is only good if it's applied. So. I uh, hope this just kind of makes you aware of what you're doing while you're grilling and uh, maybe some steps you knew, maybe you didn't, uh, some things you may want to share with your family, with your friends, and just make this activity not only enjoyable, but safe as well. Come along. Tip number one, we're only going to use our grills outside. They are not designed to be inside. They need to be out here where they got plenty of ventilation and away from combustible material. So not only should they be outside your house, uh, they should also not be under a porch or any kind of combustible covering. Get these guys outside, tip number one. Tip number two, now that we know that we grill outside, not inside, we wanna make sure that any grill that we use is away from our house, away from any structure. Uh, most recommendations I've seen are you try to be 10 feet away from the house. Obviously we're much more than that. Uh, from the house itself with our setup, uh, but to these columns here, um, pretty close. And we're sitting here at nine feet from that guy, well over 10 feet in that direction. I, I feel like this is a pretty safe distance uh, here for our setup. So grill outside, make sure your grill is away from structures or any combustible type things. Tip number two. All right, here we go. Tip number three, make sure that your grill and associated table and setup is on a nice level, flat surface. You don't want to be sitting at an angle where anything that's hot inside your grill, I mean, it could tip, potentially fall out, roll to something combustible, start a fire, hurt somebody, that kind of thing. So once you get your outside, you're away from your structure, now make sure you're level, nice and straight. Tip number three. All right, so tip number four that we're gonna talk about, and it does not apply to our setup, but if you do have a propane a gas grill, you need to check those lines for leaks. I mean, a lot of people will take their gas grill, you may store it in a shed or a garage uh, for the off season during the winter. So before you store that guy, go check for leaks. And it's like, how do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways, and but usually you can just take some soapy water and run it across with a brush, all your connections, all your gas lines all the way from um, the source of the gas to your grill and you can check for bubbles and that, that'll give you an indication uh, that you do have a leak or a loose fitting. At that point, turn the gas off, check your connections, tighten them up, do the same application again. And uh, if you're still getting a leak, you may have to take uh, parts and pieces off and replace and or uh, repair those. But if you do have a propane, or a gas stove, um, check for leaks before you store it. And then as well, if you bring it out in the springtime or summer uh, to get ready for grilling season, uh, do the same. So, so that's the next tip. So tip number five is gonna be, let's clean our grill before and after each use. Um, as we, you put food on here, you grill, I mean, it gets grease buildup on there. A lot of your gas grills will have a grease uh, trap or tray, uh, a container of some sort. So get that cleaned out, replace that as well. So keep it clean. Uh, that'll help avoid flare ups and that type of thing. That's tip number five. So tip number six, never leave your barbecue grill unattended while in use. Never leave the grill unattended while you're cooking food. You should never walk away from your barbecue while it's in use. Barbecues use high heat and open flames to cook food. And when left unattended, they can become a safety and a fire hazard. If you must leave the grill, ask another adult to watch the grill for you. Tip number six. All right, tip number seven here. We want to wear the appropriate clothing. Uh, pretty much you want to stay away from things with long sleeves that may be able to catch a flame here. Any you may have uh, strings that come off a sweatshirt or something like that. Uh, anything that dangles off an apron uh, could possibly, anything that could catch fire. Uh, keep things nice and tight, neat. And that way we're not uh, catching ourselves on fire. For some reason we do, or somebody else catches fire. Remember, stop, drop, and roll. 
That's tip number seven, wear the appropriate clothing. Tip number eight, let's have a little spray bottle on hand. This little guy right here, you have a little flare up, boom, before it spreads. Uh, it's a nice easy way to just kind of maintain and uh, keep the flames where they need to be. So tip number eight, have a spray bottle on hand full of water. So our final tip number nine is to have one of these guys right here, a little fire extinguisher. Have that handy just in case something goes wrong. That way you can put it out before a small problem becomes a big problem. Tip number nine, have a fire extinguisher handy. All right, so that's gonna be it for this section, talking about grilling safety. I hope that just makes you think about what we're doing. Most of these things are common sense, uh, but like we said at the beginning of this, uh, common sense only works if it's applied. So hope you take this to heart, share this with your family, share this with your friends, uh, enjoy grilling and stay safe.